hey, good afternoon. Hope you're having a great day. I'm coming to you from Brooklyn, New York, where I am at the Chabad International Convention for Rabbis. I arrived this morning to give proof of our vaccination, got tested, negative COVID, thank God, and on to the convention. There's usually four or 5,000 rabbis that come, but due to COVID and a lot of constraints and international travel, there'll be less this year. But if you see, I'm sitting here on a bench on Eastern Parkway, and right behind me is Chabad headquarters, and if you see that tall building all the way back there, that's the Jewish Children's Museum. Right there is Chabad headquarters. Behind me, right here, is the yeshiva that lady learns with, at with about 800 students just in four grades, and there is a great school of 2,000 kids, etc., etc. And you know, I keep on thinking about the Rebbe's vision, and when we come here for the international convention, it's a time to strengthen our our faith, our commitment to the role and the and the responsibility that the Rebbe charged us with as his representatives and emissaries. And you always think to the Torah portion, and in the beginning of this week's Torah portion, we read about the first acquisition in the Torah, the first real estate deal. Abraham buys the cave of the Machpelah from Ephron the Chittite, and he pays full dollar, 400 gold, 400 coins that were international currency. The rabbis say they were worth like 1 million coins. And Ephron takes the money, Abraham pays for it, and he buries his beloved wife, Sarah, and later on, of course, Abraham is buried there, Isaac and Rebecca and Jacob and Leah. Before that, Adam and Eve were buried there, and that's why he wanted the place. And there's a whole discussion in the Talmud, how he found out in the Midrash, how he found out that they were buried there. But that's not the point. When Abraham comes to meet Ephraim for the first time, and he says, let me buy the land, Abraham knew exactly what he wanted. He wanted the cave of the Machpelah. But as he meets Ephron, he tells him, Ger anochi I am a stranger and a resident amongst you. And the rabbis ask on the commentary of the Torah, what does it mean I'm a stranger and I'm a resident? Are you a stranger or are you a resident? It's a paradox, one or the other. And the rabbis say that Abraham looked at Ephron and said, listen, if you want, I'll be a stranger and I'll pay you full dollars for the full, full currency or even extra as he ended up paying because I need this specific law to bury my wife there. But if not, remember that God promised me this land is mine. God promised the land to the Jewish people. So if you don't give it to me as a stranger and sell it to me for high money, I'll take it as my right. I'm giving you the choice to do either or the other. But Rabbi Salvechik, the great leader who lived in Boston, right in Brookline near us, and started the Maimonides School, says something very powerful. He says that a Jew, every day of his life, has to live Ger Vitosha. When we look at the world, I walk with my yarmulke, I walk with my tzitzis hanging, I dress in black on Shabbat. I live like a Jew. And I look at the world, I recognize that in a certain way, it's strange to me, I'm a stranger, this is not my home. My home is Israel, my home is Torah, my home is spirituality. But at the same point, I'm also a Toshav. I also integrate with society and try to impact society and try to have the positive effect that we need to have. And I think about after, right after the Holocaust, when the Jews came from Europe, the Jews that survived, and there was a whole discussion, many Jews wanted to have a shtetl-like feeling in Brooklyn, as they did in Borough Park or Williamsburg, and said, so let's just insulate ourselves to protect ourselves in the American New Age and to keep the words and the way of Torah. But the Rebbe said, no. The Rebbe said, we have to have two ideas within us. And that's how the Rebbe taught every one of his emissaries. From one side, you go out to the world, you go out to Chestnut Hill, you go out to China, you go out to Mauritius, you go out to South Africa, you go out to Europe, to California, wherever it is, and you impact the world. You become a resident, so to speak. But wherever you are, remember that you're also a ger, you're also a stranger. You are someone different. We say, God chose us with the responsibility to be a light upon the nations, to act in a way of morality, of ethics. We remember that at the end of the day, we say kiddush every day, you separated us. He gave us laws of Shabbat, of holidays, of kosher, of marriage, of mikvah. 
says the Rebbe, and that's what the Rebbe inspired us. So the whole year, you sit in Chestnut Hill, you sit in your place, and you hang out with the people, and you focus on your community. But once a year, especially over this weekend, you come together, all the Chabad emissaries from over the world, and remind, remember that as much as we're a Toshev, as much as we're a resident of our communities, wherever they may be, nationally or internationally, and we impact them in the greatest ways we could, and we lift them up to a higher level. We also remember that this is our home. Our home is amongst people who focus on Judaism, on spirituality, on following the laws of Torah. And it's something we have to remember. I just started an anti-Semitism course on Tuesday night. We had about 30 people. We during on Zoom the first class. And people asked me about anti-Semitism. Rabbi, did you ever experience anti-Semitism? And I laughed. I said, I could never hide my Judaism. Look how I walk around and I never want to hide my Judaism. And I always remember wherever I go that I'm proud of who I am. And it reminds me that as much as I live in America, a country of freedom of religion, I also remember who I am as a Jew. And God bless us to always have that balance, to be a resident, but also to remember that we're a stranger, that we have laws that differentiate us and responsibilities that guide us in who we are and how we impact the world. God bless you and have a great day.